everybody. I'm excited to join you next year for the conference and uh, I figured I would make this little video uh, to share kind of neuroplasticity in a nutshell <laughs> or different ways that I'll be sharing with you of how to not only um, give your clients a form of uh, neuroplasticity that they can take home with them, different pattern interrupts, different ways of changing their own brain, but also how to be more strategic in helping your clients to change during the session, to be a bit more clear on what neural networks you're activating, how you're activating them, what you want to connect them to, and the different ways to actually de-link um, stimulus response uh, networks in the brain. So I've been developing this over, I don't know, 15 years at this point, and I've been refining it specifically over the last year so that you'll get you know, a few different ways of um, of looking into your client's inner strategies um, and what they're doing that perpetuates and keeps these uh, neural networks looping and how to interrupt it and stop it. So we've got self-directed neuroplasticity and that's really a form, uh, a system that I give to clients and it it's comprised of about five or six really rapid techniques that are designed to get clients out of an unwanted hot state, right? The state right before they do the thing they don't want to do, or the state that kind of leads them to the more compulsive behaviors uh, or repetitive patterns of thinking. So whether it's a habituated pattern of thought, of feeling, of behavior, I've designed a system that teaches them how to stop it and then uh, connect to a different um, neural network, right? So that we can start brain change right away in the very first session. And then I give clients these amazing kind of ways of getting out of unwanted states with the overarching goal of uh, neuroplasticity and, and rewiring the, the old responses. Um, that's one form. I'm also gonna be sharing with you the different forms of neuroplasticity that's happening when we do our work and how to be a bit more strategic in our client interactions, how to utilize um, therapeutic memory reconsolidation that allows us to activate the neural network and then strategically change the memory, um, specifically the affect aspect of the memory, the emotional track of the memory, and how that can play into um, a neural network comprised of not just the behaviors that they're doing, but the beliefs that underneath the behaviors, as well as the meaning we make about all that, as well as kind of looping into early, early priming. And it's all part of the same network. And once you kind of get that, you realize that you can change from any of these positions. Whether you go for the belief, whether you go for the emotion, whether you go for the behavior, you're affecting the whole network. And so um, I kind of adapted different ways of being a bit more strategic. Um, even some of the neuroplastic changes for chronic uh, health conditions and chronic pain in the brain and knowing what regions of the brain are lighting up and what what ways that we can really come up with alternative regions or different ways to co-op those same regions of the brain and connect them to somewhere else. So I'm going to bring some of that as well because I think that once you start to get curious about these, not just the things that are going on with the client when the client is doing the problem, but what's happening with the client when they're doing the solution and how do we kind of hit that over and over again. So it'll be fun. I'm looking forward to meeting you all and um, I'll see you next year.